In this video, we're going to go over one of the most unique sculpting features in 3D Coat, and that is Remove Stretching. This helps to mitigate a very common problem when sculpting with polygons, no matter what the application is. So for example, in any sculpting application, if you make large scale changes, such as using the Move tool to perhaps pull out some ears. And before I do that, I'm going to turn Remove Stretching off. And let's turn Wireframe on so I can see the polygons. I want to stretch the ears out a bit further in order to exaggerate the stretching effect. You can see the stretch polygons here. If I were to try and sculpt any detail along the ears, the stretching problem would prove to be even more problematic. All right, now let's see if we turn remove stretching on and we'll pull out some small horns or something. You can see the difference. 3D Coat optimizes the mesh right where I made that transform or that modification. And it's given me just enough polygons so that I don't have a lot of stretching. Let me undo this here real quick. I'm going to use a brush just to show that even if you have elongated stretching, 3D Coat will make the adjustment as you brush. Let's use a clay brush. I'll just use one of these presets here. Um, yeah. And with remove stretching on, it's using the size of the brush to determine how much to tessellate, if at all. And you'll see what it's doing with every single stroke it's tessellating. If you have a fairly robust system, you won't notice any pause. But again, it's performing that calculation at the end of your stroke. So by the time you reach the area where you start your next stroke, it's already performed the remeshing procedure. And you're ready to make your next stroke, even if you're making very fast strokes. Let me reduce my brush size and you'll see a, a more dramatic effect. When you reduce your brush, 3D Coat is assuming you need more detail because smaller details generally necessitate a smaller brush and thus you need more resolution in that specific area. For example, uh, let's use the draw tool here. I'll invert it. So if I use remove stretching, you'll see that's tessellating, and as I reduce my brush, it's giving me more polygons. But only where I'm making my stroke. So once I need to go back to a larger brush, I don't have to stop and use something else uh, or like live play or any other brush. I can just go ahead and continue working the way I want. And I can get the resolution that I want when I need it and only when I need it. Let's say I want to crease right there.
And let's go over here to the nose area. Mandu. The main distinction between it and live clay brushes is that it extends much of the live clay functionality to the standard brushes. We turn wireframe back on so we can inspect our mesh. All right. And that's going to conclude this look at remove stretching in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.